All right, in uh, this lesson, we're going to be uh, using a breadboard, and we're going to use it to help us create a simple circuit. And we're going to hook that up to our Arduino, and we're going to send a little program to the Arduino to use that circuit to light up an LED. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. I'm going to switch views. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Here's our Canvas homepage. Let's jump to the actual lesson. Right here. A little delay there. Before doing this, you should have completed quite a bit of work. You should have seen the video on how the breadboards work. You should have practice making simple circuits in class, using the multimeter in class to measure the voltage of batteries and measuring the resistance of resistors and so on. So make sure you do that before you start this video up. So here's the parts we're going to use. We're going to need a, a 330 ohm resistor and let's go ahead and grab that. You literally grab it here. I've got a big pile of resistors. So like, oh no, what do I do? Well, if you did the first, the other lesson, you know how to use a uh, multimeter. So we can set it to measure ohms. Do a little review here. I can set it to measure ohms. And then all I have to do is go through this little nest of resistors and kind of do this together here real quick because I need a 330. Test that one. That is going to be too big. It's 5,000. There's a little K off in the corner over there next to the ohm symbol. So we're at 5,000. That's too big. Let's grab another one. Got another line around. You're going to have to do this. Same thing I'm doing. We got 327.8. That looks fabulous. So I don't want to lose this one. I'm going to stick it right into my breadboard so I don't lose it and move some of these other things back out of the way. Now you may be lucky. Let's turn that off. You may be lucky and have some of your resistors still t taped like this. And then all you have to do is look at the bottom. So let's say we're doing that. You find a bunch of these lying around. And this one here says 10k, k is 1000, so that's 10,000, that's going to be too big, so you go and you look for another one, there's a uh, 2k, so it's k is 1000, so it's 2 times 1000, 2000, that's not going to work, so you keep searching through, now here's one that says 220, now it's not exactly 330, but it's pretty close, if you can't find a 330, we could easily just uh, pull one of these off, and we could use that one just fine. So either way, I stuck my uh, 330 into my breadboard just so I wouldn't lose it. And here's this other one. Let's move that another way. All right. So we also need an LED, and I grabbed this green one here. It's important to point out the legs again. One leg is longer than the other, so the long leg is positive and the short leg is negative. So I got to make sure I orient my LED and my circuit properly. It's got to go in a certain orientation or it won't work. And of course a couple wires. I also have lying around. I didn't include those as special parts on the canvas page. I didn't include the uh, breadboard. It's kind of standard. And the Arduino is kind of standard each time. I just included the uh, unique parts for this build. Okay. So let's go ahead and wire this up. To make it a little easier to see, I'm going to make the uh, view. Whoop. Come on, we can just make this camera view bigger. We can get rid of my face. So we can get a real nice, good view of how this works. Uh, let's start with the resistor. I'm just going to select a couple of holes there. Let me use this other, let's use this pencil to kind of point things out a little bit. 
doesn't matter which one I selected, I'm selecting five, this row five. As you know, each of these holes here, they're all connected. So by putting it in this one, it actually connects with all the ones underneath. Same thing over here with 14. Nothing interesting about 14, I just randomly selected that one. So if I put another wire into here, it'll be connected to the wire that makes up the side of this resistor. So let's go ahead and uh, continue our circuit here. I got my LED and I need to make sure that this side goes to the positive side and this side goes to the negative side. I'm going to make this side negative. In fact, let's go ahead and finish this side up. I like to use black. It's kind of the standard color for wires heading to ground. So I'm on my Arduino. There are several locations for ground. I see one right there, the G and D. There's two of them. Two pins for that. On the opposite side, a little glare there, we see one at the top. The G and D right there. G and D sends for ground. I'm going to have this end is actually pointed to my computer. So just for convenience, I'm going to hook up this side right there to ground. So I'm going to ground here. I've got both these wires in the same row both in five, so that means they're hooked together. Go back to my pencil here. It's hard to point with the, with the finger. So they're both in the same row. So that's nice. If I had it like this, so over here like that, that's not good. This is a very common mistake students will make. Say, hey, Mr. Brown, I got this all worked out. And said, so, nope, this is in this row, going to ground. And this resistor is in the, another row, and these row 5 and row 6 do not ever meet. So this will not work. So I've got to move that over. Now we're in good shape. doesn't matter which one I use, as long as I'm in the same row. Okay, so now we're going to go through our resistor, and we're going to add our LED. i got to make sure the uh, short end is going to ground, so I will put this little end right here, make sure it's in row 14, like this. That looks pretty good. So I got this short wire in the same row as my resistor. And then I've got my long wire in its row all by itself. And we're going to send this. Let's use, I like to use yellow for my little signal wires where I'm sending information. And I'm going to be sending in 0 volts or 5 volts through this wire. So to do that, i got to pick a pin that I want to work with. i got a lot of choices. I'm going to be using a digital because all I want to send out is a, a high or low or a 0 or 1 or a 5 volts or no volts. So let's pick, let's just do uh, 8. Alright, so what's going to happen is I'm going to send, using my code, I'm going to send a high or 5 volts coming out of pin 8. It's going to move through my wire like this. It's going to cross in through my LED and then it's going to go through my resistor over through this wire and then over to ground. It'll always end at ground. So that looks pretty good. Nice simple circuit there. Now what we're going to do is hook my Arduino up to the computer and we're going to send a we're going to do a little programming. We're going to uh, tell the Arduino to send a high at 5 volts for a couple seconds through the loop, and then we'll tell it to send nothing to the loop to turn it off. So we're going to turn the LED on and off. All right, so I'm going to let's go back and shrink this down a little bit. There I am. Let's open up an IDE. Mine is located here. In another video, I showed you how to download this. If you're using one of the desktop, it's already loaded on here. This version was the one you can get online. You can register for it. It's free. And this one is from the Microsoft Store. I'm going to open up that one because that's probably the one you're going to be using. And it probably has a program we wrote in the first lesson, so it keeps the previous one. But we are going to quickly not look at that, pretend like it's not there, get rid of it. We want to start from scratch. So 
So there we go. So it remembers to what we were working on, which is nice. But we want to start from scratch. We're going to get rid of these little messages, these little comments. And nothing's hooked up right now, but it remembers the previous board I was working with, Arduino Uno, and there's no port hooked up. Let's see what happens when I take my cable. Got to make sure it's the right one. Plug that in there. The other end goes in my computer, of course. So we can send this program which we haven't written yet. So that looks good. We've got some lights flashing, letting us know that we've got some power going to our Arduino. Let's see what happened in our tools. So automatically found which port we're going to use. If it didn't, then we'd have to select one. But it did that for us, so that's nice. And selected the board for us. So we're done there. I'm pointing this out because you're going to have to pay attention to this. If you have uh, problems uploading, it's going to be because the board's not selected properly. Uh, there's nothing here, or you've got the, uh, the wrong board selected, or the port's not been selected. Okay, so now we've got a little clean slate here. We can write a little program and get this LED to light up. Now we're using pin 8 this time around, so I've got to remember that. I've got to do my pin mode again. So we're going to tell the Arduino that we're using that pin. So we're going to use pin mode. Got to make sure I spell this correctly. Changes colors. That's good. We're using pin 8. And we want it to be an output. We're going to be sending things out of that pin. And we're going to send it out literally through this yellow wire. It's going to come out here to the yellow wire. We could, we sometimes will have a sensor on our board and we'll be taking information from the sensor and bringing it into our board. And then this would be therefore input. But we're going to send stuff out this time. And that's all we need for that. So we recognize, i got to maybe point a couple more things out. We have at the end of our of our statement here, a little semicolon, letting us know we're at the end. And this pin will require two parameters, the pin we're using and what you want to do with the pin. And that's in parentheses. Some, some functions require two parameters, some require one, some require three. If we needed more, we would put commas in between each time. This only requires two. Okay, so now we're just simply going to get some, uh, send some uh, current through that wire. Since it's simply on and off, we're going to use digital write. And this requires two parameters. We need to know what pin we're going to do that with. We got to say pin eight, and we're going to make it a high. And then we're going to have it wait for a minute. The reason why we want it to wait. If we don't put this in here, it'll go high so fast that we might not, we can't even tell with our eye that it went on. So we got to slow things down. Again, notice semicolons at the end. Notice that we have our parentheses, we have two parameters, two inputs for the digital write. What pin is it and what state do you want it to be, high or low? I'm sending stuff out. But what do you want me to send out? Do we send out 5 volts or no volts? That's the choice with the digital write. And then delay it has one parameter, just a time. I want, I want to know how long you want me to wait. I'm going to sit here and do nothing. So we're going to do nothing for a second. We're going to do digital write again. And this time, same pin. And we're going to do low. And we're going to wait a second. Let's have it wait two seconds this time. Have it wait two seconds. And then it'll repeat itself. We're in the loop. We'll just we'll go around and around and around. We'll keep going on and off, around and around. Now up here, the setup just happens one time. Let it know what we're doing with pin 8. And then it'll jump down here and continuously do this. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and upload that. Once it's, once it's, that's to save our work. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We can make a folder. Um, put things in there, but this is a simple one for me, so I'm not going to worry about saving. But you can go ahead and do that. 
I'm just going to have it go to a default time stamped wait here for a moment looking behind my head for that green bar to go across so we're sending the program to the Arduino and at the same time it's looking for any mistakes if it finds a mistake it'll, it'll error message will come up all right looks like it's almost done information telling us about our program, how big it is, how much space we've used up. It says done uploading right here, so it's looking good. And if you look down, I'm going to go ahead and open this up a little more. We notice that our LED is indeed going on for one second and off for two seconds. All right, that looks pretty good. Move that out of the way. We can come back to our program. If we want to change things around a little bit, we could change the times. We could do maybe two seconds on, one second off, something like that if you wanted. Upload that. Change the rate, which it goes on and off. What you're going to do for, uh, we'll call it homework, but it'll be done in class. And this is what you need to do to get your stamp is waiting here it just got done let's take a look at our our light so now we should be on for two seconds and then off for one second so that looks pretty good okay let's do one last thing as well let's just pretend like there is an error i want to show you what happens with that we we'll take off a semicolon there and go ahead and try to upload this so you can see what will happen to give us some clues. If you're not sure what to do, then of course this is when you'd raise your hand and say, hey Mr. Brower, what's going on here? And I come over and take a look. So down here it's saying expected the semicolon before digital right. So it's actually telling us what the problem is and the area the area that's highlighted is actually below where the problem is, but it's showing us what we're missing. Then we can look up here and go, oh okay, we need to get that in there send it to the Arduino, that'll, that'll be happier. Alright, so your homework, we'll call it homework, uh, in order to get the stamp, what you're going to do is you're going to build a, another circuit, keep this one, but I want you to make another one right next to it, right over here, build a second loop and then in your program, I want you to set it up so that one LED does one thing in the loop, like mine's going off two seconds and then going off. But then I want you to write some more programming to tell the next loop to do something different. So you can pick a different color or whatever. Um, but when I come over to your desk, I want to see the two circuits built and both of them doing something totally different. And then I'll give you the stamp. So, sound easy enough, hopefully. Let's go ahead and uh, end the video right there.